Hey, Heidi Ho neighbor, Dave the Family Farmer here. Do I have a chicken recipe for you today? And we're going to show you right here. Um, I got this from a friend of mine. This uh, piece of equipment. And uh, it holds the chicken legs and or wings. And let me tell you, me and Judy use this all the time. You can either use it on the grill or in the stove. Either one makes no difference. But I'm going to show you a nice easy recipe. Uh, what I got, I put flour in a bowl, and I put salt and pepper, whatever kind of seasonings you want in here. But what I did was, you know, just throw it in there. I don't measure nothing. You know that. And throw it in there. Um, I might throw some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder, uh, some mustache seasoning and that's about it nice and simple washed off all my legs we're gonna flop them in there like so i got my oven on i'm preheating it at 425 degrees okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to and what this does this puts a nice a nice uh Not a thick coating, but a nice thin coating on your chicken. Okay. And it's going to hold them juices in. This holds 12 legs, by the way. And it hold, it's going to hold the juices in your legs. See how that works? Look at that. Dude, he said, when are you going to show people how to do that? I said, Judy, we'll do that today. And, uh, and you just roll it in the flour. Makes a nice, light, crisp uh, for your chicken. Make sure you have a drip pan underneath there before you put it in your stove. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you people, you, you're going to say to yourself, geez, is this fried or is it baked? Well, I'll tell you what. After you get done doing it this way, you tell me, what do you think? Is it fried or is it baked? So anyways, I have my stove on, free, it's still preheating, so I gotta wait yet. 425. And, uh, you're gonna want to cook this. That's pretty high heat, in it? You better believe it. But let me tell you, just the way it is. Okay. And of course, I have my hands all full of this stuff. If you excuse me for just one second. Keep an eye on that. Watch that. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. My buzzer should be going off at my off my stove real real quick. But uh, you're gonna want to leave that in there for a good 35 to 45 minutes in your stove. Okay. <clears throat> you won't let me tell you, you can't imagine what this is going to taste like. You ain't going to know if it's fried or baked. And we know how to fry chicken, and we know how to bake chicken. But this is something different, because we always like to try something different. Hey, I told you, 
Dave the Family Farmer. 2014 is going to be a good year. Hey, click onto my channel, subscribe, give me all thumbs up, give me a comment. Hey, you're going to see some really great stuff this year. So, I'm going to wait for my oven to get finished uh, preheating. I'm going to slot that bad boy in there. Me and Judy are going to have a nice meal tonight. Y'all, take care. Bye-bye then.